Quebec twins have big dreams. Pumla wants to be an ethical hacker and Fila a robotics engineer. Again negative? One. In spite of living in one of South Africa's poorest townships, their ambitious plans seem within reach. The twins are only two of over 500,000 kids reached by Team Geeks. Okay, try that. Africa's largest STEM digital program, moving kids from consumers of tech to creators of tech. This was an accidental project for me. I never, I'm not a, a techie, and I came across a, a, a little girl, and she had uh, just, you know, developed an app of her own, and she was eight years old. And eight years old, hold eight on, years old. eight years old. Yeah, okay. and I just could not believe it. I was like, you know, I was, I started Googling, you know, what is happening with coding in South Africa? And that's when I found the stats that, you know, we only teach uh, from grade 10 to 12, but it's only in about 10% um, of our schools. Like many affluent countries, South Africa spends about 6% of its GDP on education. However, in 2015, ninth grade learners were ranked second to last out of 39 countries in maths and last in science. Quality is still lagging and high schoolers continue to drop out at alarming rates, according to the IMF. Okay, all right, thank you. Orphaned at a young age, Matlali credits the grandfather who raised her for stressing the transformative power of education as a ticket out of poverty. You know, if you go to a township and you ask an a, a eight-year-old and say, so what do you want to become when you're when you are older? They're probably going to tell you, I want to be a DJ or I want to be a rapper. And then, you know, we ask them at the end of the year, after the program, what do you want to become? Almost all of them, they're going to tell you, I want to be a CEO, I'm going to drive a Bentley, I'm going to have my own private jet. But you start seeing um, their aspirations re literally rising. Africa Teen Geeks has partnered with the Department of Basic Education to introduce coding and robotics into South African classrooms. Maklali hopes that her latest initiative will be the launch pad for an entire generation of creative new techies on the continent. We need to target tens of thousands of children. Millions. Of children. Millions of children. Yes. Yet the Department of Basic Education reports both the number of students taking math matric exams and the performance are down. Negative three and positive nine. In 2019, of 28% of the kids who took the test, less than half met the score to pass it. When you look at those numbers, does that scare you in terms of the skills? the deficit of skills that we have in the country? Well, it's historical issues. Remember, we had uh, 19 different education systems in South Africa before 1994. All of those things were merged and fixed in 1996 when the South African Schools Act came into force, which then said we have one education system. But all of that change brought with it all the issues from the past. A girl can do whatever she wants. If I can get, get to where I want to be, then I could encourage a lot of girls and make them see that they have potential. For girls like Pumla and Fila, every year of education could mean a better future. Also, it could increase their income as adults, earning 20% more in some cases, according to UNESCO. But not every smart kid gets this lift. London School of Economics professor John van Rienen describes kids with missed opportunities has lost Einstein's. Many people who could become um, entrepreneurs and uh, inventors who have not been given the opportunity to do that. So the idea of the lost Einstein's in our research is the fact that there are, are many potential inventors people who can change the world. Van Rienen adds that boosting 21st century tech skills could be the single most powerful investment for the continent's development agenda. And despite striding efforts, this remains a big hurdle for the continent to clear. I always say to people that we've got 25,000 schools, uh, 400,000 teachers, 13 million children in nine provinces, and all of them, they need to be taken care of by someone, and it has to be us. But without a partnership, all of these things are not going to work. That's why we are big on partnerships. A partnership that can continue to close the digital skills gap and potentially produce the entrepreneurs and innovators of the future.